I want to intro this with a teeny tiny voice, but I can't really do one. Marcel the Shell with Shoes On uh, premiered last year at Telluride, but now finally hitting theaters. Tell us the whole story, Christy. All right, so I'm making like a little documentary. Oh, it's like it's a like... movie, but nobody has any lines and nobody even knows what it is while they're making it. Mm. No. Mm -hmm. I love this movie so much. This is a feature film version of the YouTube series of shorts that Dean Fleischer Camp and Jenny Slate did like 10 years ago when they oh, were wow. still married. They used to be married. And this mm -hmm. voice is just like a little voice that she would do around the house. And she's, of course, done a ton of voice work. She is on Bob's Burgers. She is Gidget the Pomeranian in the Secret Life of Pets movie. She just has a fantastic animation voice in general. So Marcel the Shell, which is a voice she started doing, and they made these shorts and they really took off and they've got like tens of millions of views. And the shorts are just a series of little non sequiturs like little observations and just funny things that she is saying as this little shell, which has like one little googly eye and little shoes. And you hear Dean Fleischer camp talking to him in the background and asking questions. They built that out. And now the story is that he Dean is staying at an Airbnb in Los Angeles where Marcel lives with his grandma, Nana Connie voiced by Isabella Rossellini. And he's supposedly making a documentary about them and their lives and it takes off and they gain this instant viral internet popularity um but along the way you learn all kinds of funny things and you watch the great detail with which they have like arranged things in the house to get stuff done and it's all like adorable and tiny and clever like the little machines they make to make things happen and like where they sleep in their little garden and like so much thought went into just the like most charming tiny details here and I had a big smile on my face the entire time. There is more emotional depth than you might expect from this. It sounds like a gimmick. It sounds like a lark and just like there's not much to it beyond the shorts, but they create this sense of just longing and need for community and need for identity. And that feels particularly resonant over the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. And the voice is just the darn cute. And I love the contrast of, and I'm not even going to try to do the voice because I'm going to mess it up. But the, con <laughs> the contrast, I don't want to do it badly. <laughs> sure. No, I, I hear you. That's, I, 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 I was going to kick off with it. I couldn't do it. So yeah, yeah. But the, the contrast of like Marcel's little tiny voice with the warmth and the richness and the maturity of Isabella Rossellini by comparison and um, is, is really sweet. And uh, the pop culture references are freaking hysterical and they feel totally germane to this world and this life because anything seems possible. Like they watch 60 Minutes. Of course they know <laughs> about pop culture. Um, so it doesn't feel wedged in and like a, a forced effort to be relevant. It just feels like one of the many funny, charming things about Marcel's life. So what did you think? Yeah, this is one of those movies where I kept thinking, how is this going to be a feature? Like, yeah. how, you watch the first five or 10 minutes, like, well, this is cute, but how is this going to be a feature? And then it is yeah. like, you do get there is uh, what plot there is involves the fact that, like, the people who used to live in the Airbnb apparently used to argue a lot. And after one of their arguments, one of them left and took with him a lot of Marcel's family and Marcel doesn't know where to find them. And so Dean tries to sort of be uh, of some help for that. And it's very sweet. And I think, I, I think because I was so Im impressed with that they were building this out into a feature length and that it, that it merited that, I was also wanting kind of the emotional wallop that I thought it was building oh. towards or that it thought it was giving me. And I didn't quite feel that, but it is so charming and mm -hmm. so adorable mm -hmm. that I, I still felt like it, it did maintain itself. And it was this thing that I wanted to stick around and just hang out with these characters and see what they were going to do and what new facets of their world and how they were going to use, you know, pencils and bottle caps and pebbles in a clever way <laughs> to do what they needed to get done. Uh, so yeah, I, I like this movie a lot. I just never quite crossed the line to like loving it. I loved it. And it's also an interesting subtext if you know it and you don't need to know this to appreciate it. But since they used to be married, mm. right? They're no longer married, but they made this movie together, Jenny Slate and Dean Fletcher Camp. Like there's a, a 
part of it where he's talking about how he is separated from the woman he had been with. And the Marcel character is kind of teasing him about it. Like, are you heartbroken? You're heartbroken, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and giving advice like, well, you know what? Maybe if you weren't just looking at everything through a camera lens and actually dealing with people one on one, you might communicate with them better. I did not know mm -hmm. all that subtext. So maybe that might have made a difference. But uh, yeah. yeah, no, but it, it is. I mean, the animation is lovely and. And you're right that the way that they incorporate sort of the outside world and what viral fame might look like in this particular case and just other little specifics. The, Marcel's first car ride just made me laugh very much for reasons you'll see when you yeah. see it. Um, yeah, but it's 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 lovely and and I think it's it's uh, I I'm always a fan of animated films that don't fit into the genre you might expect or the tone you might expect. And so, I mean, this is absolutely a movie that you could take your entire family to go totally. see, but I think it is very much from kind of a, there is a mature sensibility about what it has to say about relationships and families and that kind of thing. But I think kids will, would be just enchanted by the world and by the character. Totally. So I'm saying nine. I really loved it. Uh, I said 7.2. Okay, so I'm up there. We should mention so um, the Cinemopolis in Ithaca, New York, is going to be mm. showing Marcel the Shell very soon. They are a really cool theater that's going to be one of our movie house shout outs very, very soon. Cool. But they've got this coming up. So if you are in the Ithaca area, keep an eye out for that. All right, enjoy. <laughs> 